This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. For the first four and a half years of World War II, the Jews of Hungary were spared for the most part the horrors of the Holocaust. That all changed in March of 1944 when the German army occupied her homeland. Shortly after that, things really changed. It was, um, my father heard in the synagogue, he brought home that news, that there were some boxcars at the train station. So and there was a small hotel, just a couple of rooms for travelers owned by Jewish people. And my younger brother, my friend, that he went out there and we realized what's happening, that there were people in boxcars, but we didn't know why or where they were heading. In two months, she would get her answer. Ava and her family were rounded up, put on a train, and sent to the notorious death camp in Auschwitz. That started an 11-month odyssey of horror bouncing from death camp to work camp before finally being liberated by the British in April of 1945. Then came 50 years of silence regarding her horrible year. Now, for more than a decade, she's been talking to students across Canada. What is her message? Eliminating hate. If they want to find peace, they have to eliminate hate. The most important thing is to accept themselves so that they can accept others as well. It was quite an education for this grade nine student from West Ferris. I didn't expect the amount of detail she went in about uh, all of the horrible things that have happened there and I found it very educational. Like I haven't learned about this stuff in my uh, lessons yet, um, so I don't know a lot of the facts that have happened and I found that really educational going into my further uh, learning. For no one did Ava Olson's visit ring truer than for student Rose Goldfarb. She is heading to Auschwitz this summer. Well, I think it's extremely important because it's where my grandmother was and I don't think there's a way that I could ever connect to that part of her life like I could by being there. Well, I think that for something like this to never happen again, you have to educate yourself and that the best way to educate yourself would be by like, doing your best to see it how they saw it. And I know it's not the same, but at least it will give me some perspective. And despite mountains of evidence to the contrary, there are those who still deny the Holocaust ever happened. And as I mentioned earlier tonight, the reason why they deny because it's easier to live in a denial than having a look at the truth because it's ugly. Olson turns 93 in October, but she says she can't wait to return to deliver her message of hope to Whittafield in 2018. Greg Estabrooks, Kojiko North Bay News. If you are interested in watching Kojiko North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.